The way I think about drip campaigns is that anything I would include in an elevator pitch or anything that I would express about my company and my brand to educate people about what we do or about what my clients do is good stuff and good material for a drip campaign. Um, drip campaigns should be short. We found that the simpler your drip campaign chatbot flows are, the more people stay engaged and the fewer people subscribe. So I really recommend doing one to two widgets max and one page per drip campaign. Sort of like you send out a one-off email in each drip. So you're gonna send off a one-off message in each drip. So here are just some ideas. If you're an e-commerce company, you could talk about um, the quality of your products, okay? If you have something special going on for you in that regards. You could talk about um, pricing guarantees. If you offer free shipping, okay, these are all good ideas that we've seen work very well in drip campaigns. Um, again, sort of like this is sort of, you know, like ad headlines, right? If you were running AdWords ads, these are all things and features and benefits you might put out in a call out extension or you might call out in, in, ad, in site link extensions or you definitely want to put in your headlines. Free shipping, you might want to do a, a you know, I like this one a lot, us versus the competition. And we do this for in a very visual way where we'll say like, look, this is their product, this is our product, which one do you like more, um, right? And this is why we're better because we know we're cheaper and it's also much nicer. Um, you could highlight any news, right? New way to use a new product or new product or services that you're advertising. If you're B2B, you could use a drip to send out a case study, right? And whether it be gated or not, you don't necessarily have to attach it with a whole form or conversion form. You could just send out a case study, right? Just getting that, getting your, your content out for free, um, getting people to be exposed to what your brand is doing. Uh, you could send out testimonials inside Messenger. You don't even need to send them to your website to view the testimonial. Just send them the actual testimonial quote. This is very, very powerful. Use this a lot. Numbers, right? If you have a certain amount of people who use your product, or you have a certain number of clients, or you, have a, or you hit certain benchmarks, send those out. If you've won awards, call attention to that. Okay? If you have, um, if you have educational content like videos, or even a blog posts in a series, you could send that out as a serialized version. So serialize long, longer content, long content. I think that's a very powerful um, technique. You could send webinar, this is a big one also, webinar registration um, drips to remind people to attend. You could after the webinar is over, you could cut the webinar up into six, seven, or eight little small bite-sized um, pieces and send out the actual webinar content, which is sort of like you know this same one over here, serializing long content. You could definitely run drip campaigns that are promoting a promotion or a sale, especially if it's something which is on your website for longer. Like I think of drip campaigns as, as content or a drip that could stay long term. Like I don't need to change it that often. A blast is like, okay, we're running a special New Year's Day sale, we're running a special July 4th sale, I'm gonna put those as a blast. Drip campaigns I want to basically be able to build and put them in the back of my mind that they're just automatically running. So if there's a promotion or a sale, like another good thing is if you have a clearance section on your site. Um, or a flash sale section on your site. That's a really good thing to do. If you found through your customer service calls that there are certain parts of your business that are complicated or that people don't really understand how your service works, use a drip campaign to simply explain what you do. Okay, like something like Reset IV, we would use a drip campaign to explain, like this is the process, this is what we do, um, this is how it actually works, and that's all done through a drip campaign. Um, lastly, the two things you really want to keep in mind when building any sort of drip message is to be helpful, helpful and educate, okay? Notice how I don't say sell. Be helpful and educate. That's how you keep your contacts from unsubscribing and that's how you generate goodwill. That's how you get people to like the messages you get. Educate them with information that they want and that they need. And always, always remember, like we've spoken about, use your custom attributes that you've been collecting. Use your custom attributes in your drip campaigns. That's why you've been collecting them. Use them to personalize the message. If you have enough contacts, create separate audiences based on fundamental attributes, on character differences, and create two different drip campaigns, one to this audience, one to that audience. 
If you want to have a drip campaign to men and a separate drip campaign to women, go ahead and do that. If you want to have a, a drip campaign to people who are in the market for a certain service, then then and, or people who are in the market for or people who have a bigger company, then use those custom attributes that you've been collecting through your blast, through your messenger click to call ads, through your other bot workflows, through your your content download forms. Use those custom attributes in your drips and segment and personalize that information. These are a bunch of different good ideas. I'm sure that there are many many more. These are some of the ones that have worked for us. If you could, these top level ideas and maybe slight modif modifications that are directly related to it will probably cover 90 to 95% of the drip messages that you're gonna send out in your own Mobile Monkey Drip campaign. Before you go and build your drip, we're not gonna actually draft out like we blueprinted out the other campaigns because drips are so much simpler, but what I want you to do is write down five to 10 different drip messages that you would potentially send out to contacts who are interested to learn more about your business. I think that each one of you could come up with five to 10. Just imagine yourself talking to somebody else about your brand or about your client's brand, about what it is you do, why it's valuable, what's in it for the customer. Think about that over and over again. What is in it for the customer? Remember, when we're selling, we're not asking people to take a chance on us. We're not asking people to sacrifice for us. We're not just saying, give me your dollar because I don't want you to give it to my competitor. We need to express and convey and tell a story that's unique. You need to tell a story why people should want to connect up with your brand. And think about that and put together five to 10 different marketing messages that you think would work well for a drip. And that will make it much easier when you go into Mobile Monkey to actually build out your drip campaigns properly. Mm -hmm.